Good morning, everybody, out here in North Dakota for one final Midwest trip of the season. Just had a big blizzard blowing yesterday morning. So we showed up mid morning yesterday, did a bunch of scouting, found three, four hundred honkers out here in this cut cornfield. And uh, we're able to secure permission for this morning. So hopefully, we're on the X, might get to run some traffic as well. Out here with my buddy Caden, got Corey. Corey's along as well. And uh, we're out here in Caden's trailer blind. First time hunting out of this thing. So pretty stoked to see how this works. Got uh, Caden's pup, Rip, Bonnie along as well. Perfect little quartering wind here. So got a bunch of full bodies, some silhouettes, some sleeper shells. Got the, the whole rig thrown out. Going to be ripping on the DRC calls this morning. I got the life sentence on my lanyard. I think Caden's going to be ripping on the core and... Corey's probably going to be blowing a psycho, so have three honker calls ripping at him and see if we can't get him right here in our lap. Watch, just watch the pheasant pitch down out here into the cornfield. I got my upland license running right now as well, so I'm going to go see if we can't start the day with a rooster on the board. Well, got a rooster, big old cockbird to start the day. And seeing this while I was walking out, looks like the flu got one of them. There you go. <laughs> rooster. Chicken for breakfast. What are they doing? Oh, yeah, they're locked. To eat it. It broken up. Others are following like them. A load of them around us. I can only see a couple. Oh, they're good. Oh, they're good. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh, littles. I want the littles. Give it to him. Here we two. There go. I had that. How many did y'all get? Um, I missed my second shot. I shot this close one. He looked like he was banded, so I shot, but I didn't know. Pretty sure. I thought it was just a Here. <laughs> Were you taping or? No, I was trying. I was looking at those lessers up high. I did not see. Oh. Them low ones coming in from the right. I had zero clue. Every time I stuck this camera out the top, the birds have flared off, so probably not gonna try that again. Thank you. 
You, all you. Wonder where that was. I don't know what happened there. That was all me. I mean, I hit him a little bit. I know my second shot was behind him, but that first shot, I don't know. Well, got three out of that. Where do the red tarsals come out of? Regina, the city that rhymes with fun. <laughs> <laughs> they that's a that's literally their town slogan. They paid an ad agency like thirty or fifty thousand dollars to come up with a town slogan, and that's what they came up with. <laughs> the people of Regina were irate. Off the head. <laughs> like had a big ass billboard. Regina, the city that rhymes with fun. <laughs> this is not even made up at all. This is real news. This is real life. This happened in Canada. Who would have thought it would have been pretty successful setting up over to the cat pasture? <laughs> Do we let the rest of them try keep it a little more realistic? Just slower down when they come. They don't hardly make any noise at all when they're on the ground. We, do we take the two or? Wait on a minute for the last second. And then two. Get him. Low one, low one. No. Here. <laughs> that one you shot, Corey. Or was that? That know. was me. <laughs> I just get up and like, oh. Did a puff of feathers come off him or did I get him in the head? I was trying to get him in the head, but... Come here. Here. Dead? Here. I think so. Hey, here. hey. Over. Yeah. Good, here. <clears throat> Come here, Bonnie. Come on. Bonnie. Bonnie. Come here. Oh. Hey, sit. 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 Mmm. Right in the titties. <laughs> I got him like kind of in the neck. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. A little far back. Let's get six out of these. Okay. Boys, shoot your lane. Get to, get to dead <laughs> <laughs> We 
we can get all these, we're done. Shoot your lane! Okay. Well, I shot three. Get it, Bonnie, get it. Good! a girl! Good girl! Very good! That's a good girl. Here, come on, here. Got him by the head. <laughs> here! Wow. Congratulations, dog. You are brain dead. He was free, though, right? Huh? He was free, though. Go find him! Good girl. Here. Good girl. Come on, Bonnie. Here. Here. Come on, Bonnie. You got a little extra junk in the trunk, <laughs> do you? She's got some jiggle. You're some jiggle jiggle. How come you jiggling, girl? You need to go on a, a nine hour long pheasant hunt. Okay. Need frying up a little rockfish? Yep. Alaska rockfish. And some goose fat. No vegetable oil around here. Nope. Stuff to jump. Got Cory, legs, thighs, pheasant, hearts. What's the plan with these? We, I rendered all that goose fat. We field plucked them. This is all goose fat in here. Caden's frying the fish in goose fat. I'm gonna season these. We're gonna fry the pheasant next in the goose fat. We don't really have any breading, so we're just gonna season it, fry it in the fat. It's gonna work. And then the goose legs and thighs, boneless. Um, I do have one goose breast cut into strips in here as well. I guess it's probably time to try this. I'm gonna give it a rip. Hot. I can like it. A little hot. Is it done? Mm hmm. That beats the heck out of halibut. That's really good. Goose fat helps a lot. Too. Good goose fat. Yeah. Goose fat gives us some sweetness. So. Dinner plan. Keep you updated. Here we go. <laughs> Well, what happened was we chunked up the thighs and drummies from those honkers and then I deep fried them in the goose fat that I had rendered out. It was so dang tough, made of pure rubber bands like Goodyear tires. So I put some diced tomatoes in here and some tomato sauce and that honker, deep fried honker, and then just kind of kept it on low simmer like crock pot style for a long time all like most of the day last night or last night and then um and then turned it on this morning a little bit got it hot and then again so hopefully trying to break down that connective tissue that holds all those thighs and drummies together and then i added uh, some more water and then some spaghetti noodles and we're gonna have spaghetti and honker meatballs here in just a little bit just waiting for the pasta to soak up some of this water this liquid and uh, then we're gonna chow down. So, honker spaghetti coming up. Honker spaghetti, one bowl gone, going back for seconds. I was hungry as all get out, so a little biased here, but that's like an 8.4 out of 10. Yeah, if we had some fry bread, it'd be a little better. If you wanna know exactly what to do with honker thighs, drummies, Go to drccalls.com. Actually, go to the DRC Instagram page. Click on the free recipe story saved on the main homepage. Goose thigh, street tacos, that's the move. Crock pot, Instapot, 
absolutely delicious. But hope you enjoyed this one. Hopefully have some more interesting stuff coming from the rest of this trip. And uh, if you did enjoy it, really appreciate if you click that subscribe button. If you have any questions about the hunt, the cooking, leave in the comment section down below. Hope everybody out there is staying safe. God bless. Thanks for watching. Yeah.